Oh my gosh. I'm really scared for your rabbit, to be honest. Hey Lennies, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm gonna be doing something a little different. I'm gonna be reacting to our subscribers' rabbitats. <laughs> rabbitats, oh my god. I meant rabbit habitats. I can't get over the rabbitat thing, I don't know why. Today I'm gonna be reacting to our subscribers' habits. <laughs> Why can't I say it right? So today I'm gonna to be reacting to our subscribers' rabbit habitats. I've seen a few other pet YouTubers do this and I know a lot of you guys really love our house rabbit makeover series and since I can't travel to each and every single one of you across the world, I figured, you know, this is like the next best thing. Now bear in mind that everyone who sent their submissions was consenting to receiving feedback and criticism. And you guys know me, I'm gonna be honest and forthcoming about how I really feel, uh, but I'm also just gonna make sure to give you pointers on how you can improve those situations. I've got my laptop right here and I really should know better than to ask you guys to send me submissions because my inbox has like 250 unread emails now because of that post and I had to delete the post after just a couple hours because if I just let it linger I'd probably have like over a thousand submissions so I'm really sorry if I didn't get to yours. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick like random ones out of my inbox. I think that's just the most fair way to do it. I'm gonna scoot a little to the left here so that on this side, we can have the images. Oh, so smart. And by the way, I welcomed all different kinds of living setups from X-Pens to CNC condos to cages to free roaming. So, you know, we're gonna get a variety of images here. And I think it might be clever to like grade some of these just to kind of give you guys, you know, a little bit more of a, a spectrum that we're working with here. Okay, so we're gonna start off with apartment free range setup. I like free range, so that's great. I'm open to feedback on how to improve it. Um, I often find her digging at the couch, even with her own seat. Okay, so this is really cute, actually. I'm trying to look for flaws, and I'm not finding a lot. You've got a great litter box. I like the hooded litter box. Uh, you've got some decent food and water bowls. I kind of like how you've incorporated some cat stuff in there for the rabbit to like hop on. I don't know what that stuff is called, because I'm not a cat person. But I see you've got like some toys and stuff. I mean, it looks good to me, honestly. It, here's what I would do if you really wanted to like make some rearrangements. I would remove that like cat apparatus and put the litter box in that corner because rabbits really prefer corners to go in. But as to where you would want to move the cat thing, I don't know, I think that'd be at your discretion. I really love that little um, couch protector seat that you got. I think that's so clever. And uh, all of you guys take note. I think that's so cute for the bunny to sit on. I know you mentioned you're still having trouble with the bunny digging at the couch, even with the couch protector. And what I would do if I were you is just, you could add one more layer beneath that of just sheet or a towel. It might be an eyesore. I'm not saying it's gonna look cute. But you know, when you have company over and stuff, you can just pull it right off. But I think it would be wise to add maybe another layer of protection if you if you don't want the bunny digging on that couch. But how does your bunny not chew on the books on that bottom shelf? <laughs> I give this setup an A plus. First one and it's already an A plus. So yeah. My rabbit's habitat. All right, so the pen size is four foot by three foot. So you've DIY'd a, a little pen with some CNC grids. All right, so there's quite a few things going on here. Um, first of all, it's really cute. I like all the colors. I like the purple wall. I know that's like irrelevant 
you know, to the bunny care, but I think aesthetics are important. And, you know, I like the pink blankie and all that stuff. I love the Ikea bed. I see you've got a nice big water bowl, so that's a plus. So the hay looks like it's really hard to get a hold of. It's like in this cardboard box that I think is acting as like a hay holder, but the, it's not like hanging above the litter box. If you're gonna have a hay rack of some sort, like it needs to hang above the litter box because I just don't see a large enough opening for the bunnies to pull hay out. I personally would just put the hay in the litter box. You're using a lot of litter, like way too much actually. So I would cut down on about half of that. If you wanna make it last longer, you don't need that much. You know, put the hay in the litter box. I know a lot of people are afraid of putting the hay in the litter box for some reason. They think that the bunnies are gonna eat soiled hay, but bunnies are much smarter than that. And um, they're not, they're, you know, they're gonna pick out the good pieces of hay. They don't, they're not gonna eat soiled hay. I see like those foam puzzle pieces on the ground that kind of act as a mat. Uh, I appreciate you trying to give the bunnies some friction, but I think that's the wrong material because I can see they've already chewed a lot of it and you really don't want your bunnies ingesting that. A bunny that goes into stasis and then eats that is gonna have intestinal blockage. I would replace that with like a little area rug or just a different kind of mat of some sort. You could, you know, line it with fleece if you want. And then in terms of the space, you know, it really does look quite small to me for two bunnies to be sharing that space. I know you said that they free range other days of the week and that's great. You probably could expand this a little bit, especially since you've used CNC grids and CNC grids are great for being able to create all sorts of different fun shapes and sizes. So that would be my advice to you. So I'm gonna give this setup a B. Okay, so this is really cool because, I mean, Kuwait is so far away from here and the fact that you watch us all the way out there is really cool. I know the last person was from the UK, so I love seeing these international ones. Oh my God, so your bunny is so cute. So they get the whole room to themselves, basically. And when he isn't shy, roams around the apartment. So I see you've got the Ikea bed. This is really cute. I'm really liking this. I think, honestly, you've done a really great job. I love the hooded litter box. You, it looks like you've got enough hay in there. You're using wood stove pellets. I mean, some of you guys don't even need to watch our channel. I swear, like, you're already, you're good. You're good. <laughs> you've got some good food and water dishes. Okay, so... One thing I noticed straight off the bat, you're feeding your bunny way too many pellets. Like that's a lot of pellets in that bowl. Um, I don't know how much your rabbit weighs, but standard is kind of quarter cup per five pound rabbit. So you really need to like slash that in half. Your rabbit's gonna gain a lot of weight otherwise and have other health issues. I love that your bunny is flopping in a lot of these pictures. It means you have a happy bunny. The other thing I will say is you're missing an area rug or something of the sort so that the bunny can have some friction to run and do zoomies and binky. This is all just ceramic flooring. And I do worry that, you know, the bunny could develop splayed legs if they're just hanging out on this floor all the time. Other than that, I think that everything is really great. So much enrichment going on and just a really decent amount of space. So I rate this setup an A, and the only reason it's not an A plus is because of the lack of a rug. Okay, my rabbit's cage. Oh God, this is really, this is really not good. Okay, so by the way, this email has like no description or explanation. Again, I'm trying to review like an array of different living setups because I don't want to just do the really nice ones. This setup reminds me very much of the example that I used in my top 10 mistakes that rabbit owners make video. This is a really small, small amount of space for a rabbit. It's kind of unacceptable. I mean, it is unacceptable, to be honest. I see you're, you're also using the corner litter box. I really don't recommend those. They're just not appropriate. They're not big enough. Um, just get a regular cat-sized litter box. Um, 
you know, put the hay in the litter box. That hay rack is really not gonna cut it for the bunnies daily dose of hay. They really need to be grazing, you know, on unlimited amounts of hay all day. Kind of like cows and horses. The bars in that hay rack are just not wide enough for the bunny to pick out its hay. I'm really glad that you're using a water bowl. That like might be the only good thing about this. I see you've got a couple of toys and that's good as well. The rest is just, it's just not good. So I, uh, you know, looking at the size of your rabbit and stuff, it's just, it's just not enough space. Rabbits can jump really high, they can run really fast. That would be like the equivalent of putting a human in a closet, a tiny closet, and just telling them to live there all day long. <sighs> you know, I just, I give this uh, setup a D. Yeah. Sorry, this is Franklin from Alabama. All right, so I really think this is a great setup as well. I see you've got a Heidi house. You've got lots of hay, um, great food and water bowls, a big litter box. I think this is really nice. So the one thing I think that you're missing is a, a little area rug. And honestly, you know, I would be curious to see what the rest of the room looks like because I think you could expand this pen. It doesn't seem like you have anything going on, you know, right outside of the pen in that room. But other than that, I think it looks really great. So I give this setup an A. All right, here's my bunny's cage. I can't have him free roam 24 seven because I have a large dog inside and have no space for an X pen. But I try to do my best to only have her in there when I'm not home. So let's let's start off with the good stuff here. So you've got a beautiful litter box. Okay, <laughs> we have that litter box, so I am a little biased, but it's a great litter box. I like the food bowls and the stand for it. You've got a nice little placemat there. I see you've got two toys. Um, and a little blankie. I can't see what's inside the litter box. I hope that there's a lot of hay in there. I see your bunny is kind of hanging out outside of the cage, kind of by your bed a little bit. And I also noticed that you bunny proofed the bottom of the bed so your bunny doesn't go under there. It looks like there's a nice little section that you've created for your bunny beside your bed. Um, and I think that that is a decent amount of space. However, you mentioned that when you go out, you just lock the bunny in the cage and that is not a decent amount of space. You know, I would just bunny proof your room and keep the bunny in the room, make the cage the home base, which is what you seem to be doing most of the time, but just transition to doing it all the time. And I understand that you can't free roam your bunny in your house. I think you could use some more toys, some more enrichment. And I think if you want to simulate a little hidey house, it's as easy as, you know, taking a blanket or a towel and laying it over the roof of that crate. And that's going to give it like a little place to hide. Those are my thoughts. I, I would rate this um, setup, I would give it a B plus only because you do keep the bunny in that cage when you go out. Okay, homemade X pen. My bunny is my whole world. That's really sweet. Okay, so I see you also DIY'd an X pen using CNC grids. Um, you've got a Heidi house, which is excellent with an, two entrances and exits. You've got a great looking litter box. You've got great food and water bowls, t lots of toys, and friction for the bunny to hop around. I'm looking for flaws and I don't know if I can find any. But I think this is really good. No, I, I honestly, I think I would rate this one an A plus. Okay, so this is actually very interesting. Now, it may not be the most aesthetically beautiful setup I will say that I think it has everything that the bunnies need so you've you know they've got a really good amount of space they've got a ramp you know that they can climb on top of they've got two litter boxes one for each lots of hay 
tunnels, hidey house, food and water bowls, and you've got a little carpet or rug for friction. I give this setup an A plus, really. I mean, this is, this is really nice. Wow, okay, so this is the first CNC condo. So this is very nice, and honestly, uh, wow. I mean, props to you for, for putting the time and effort into that, because that's very elaborate. This is a very beautiful condo. You've got lots of hay, nice big litter box. You've got the Ikea bed. Uh, you've got other beds, you've got food and water dishes, lots of enrichment. So any downsides to this would be you might have a little bit too much in there to where I wonder if your bunny has enough space to do zoomies and things of that nature. And zoomies are basically when, you know, your bunnies do like fast laps around the room because they're really hyper and excited. But like other than that, maybe you could, can, I see you've got three dishes. I'm assuming one is for pellets, one is for veggies, and one is for water. You probably could condense that down to two. Um, but th that's just me like nitpicking, you know, I'm not saying like you have to do that. Um, honestly, like the rest is really nice. So I give this setup an A. So here we have a hutch. We haven't had one of these yet. A 5 by 2.5 foot hutch and a run, which is 12 by 6. Dolly is only locked inside of her hutch during the night for safety reasons. We all know I don't agree with keeping the bunnies outside. Mainly just under the umbrella that bunnies are prey animals, okay? So they're very, very vulnerable outdoors. Now, I don't know where this person lives or what kind of climate you're dealing with. I don't know if you've got really hot summers, really cold winters, rain, snow, but those are definitely other factors that you want to keep in mind when you're doing this sort of thing. So aside from that stuff, which I don't have knowledge of, I would say the rabbit obviously has a great amount of space here. The enclosure for what it is, I think you've got a lot of enrichment, a lot of toys. I like the tunnels, the litter box looks great. But you're also, you're saying that for safety reasons, you enclose the bunny in the hutch at night. And that leads me to believe that you yourself don't feel like your rabbit is 100% safe, which is why I just say for peace of mind, transfer the bunny indoors. You've got a beautiful bunny, and I really do appreciate all the enrichment that you've given it. But, you know, taking all the other risks into consideration, I would give this living setup a B. Chili's cage. I let him out every day when I come back from school until I go to sleep. I would like for him to be free room, but I still live with my parents and they won't let me adjust my room for him. So this is just right off the bat. It's it's very, very small. Um, you know, just can't really sugarcoat that. It's a very, very small enclosure. Um, I do appreciate that, you know, you let the bunny out when you come home from school until you go to sleep, but I don't, I don't know how many hours that is. I like that you've got a lot of hay. I would probably add a little bit more to the litter box, but I know you've got a hay rack in there, so that's good. I would just get not use that water bottle. The bunny's gonna probably be at risk of dehydration using that water bottle. I just use a big, heavy, you know, ceramic bowl of some sort, and that should do the job. There's just no space for them to binky or do anything. I would give this a C plus. Hey Lorelai, this is the X pen for my bunny named Cinder. He refuses to use the litter box consistently, so it's best to give him an X pen. We let him out a few hours every day so he can roam around. His pen is 24 square feet. Right off the bat, I give this an A plus. Already. This is really nice. You've got two great hidey houses, two toys, lots of hay, beautiful looking litter box, big old water bowl. You see you've got the puzzle mats on there and they're placed in such a way that the bunny's not chewing on them, which I really appreciate. And you know, your bunny looks happy and healthy in the photo. You know, more props to you for giving them free roaming time. I think that's very essential. If you didn't do that, I would tell you to do that but you're already doing it. My bunny Thumper has a lot more hay. He was just low, okay? He uses a water bowl, not a bottle. 
and he gets lettuce and pellets. Um, okay, if he uses a water bowl, why is the water bottle there? It's a little confusing. I would just not have the water bottle there. I don't know where to start with this. This is really small and it's really not cool, to be honest. It's kind of like that other one that we saw. Just, if you're gonna use this, you could. what you could do is use the bottom half as the litter box. That is a great litter box. Either that or go get a different litter box. And I don't know what your living situation is. I don't know if you can free roam the bunny in your room at the very least it would be less work to bunny proof your room. You need a few more toys. You need a lot of hay, like unlimited hay. I don't see hay anywhere. I'm really scared for your rabbit, to be honest. This is just an F all around. <laughs> At least get an X-Pen. Like an X-Pen is 30 bucks on Amazon. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is really not good. I don't know, that's just way too small for two bunnies. Re just way too small. I don't see a lot of hay. I don't see anything else, really. I don't see toys. I, there's really no description about the living situation, so I don't know if they're spayed, neutered, if they're potty trained. I don't know if they get any free roaming time. So just based off of this one photo, it's it's gonna be an F. So I do see that you've given them a, a water bowl. And that's about the only good thing in there. But like, there's not even a single toy in there. So I don't, I don't know what your um, living circumstances are, but it seems like you've got a little bit of space in this room for an X pen. You could totally just get an X pen instead, and just watch my video on how to set up a rabbit X pen. You know, you're gonna need some enrichment. You're gonna need a large litter box with lots of hay. Um, you could keep the hutch as a hidey house, you know, keep the door open and make that like a home base for them. Yeah, that those would be my suggestions for that. Okay, wow, this one is really, really nice, actually. This is very cute. You DIY'd a pen with CNC grids. I like that you created a little section there um, in the corner for the litter box so that the bunny has more space to run around in. That was very clever. Nice big water jug. Cute little bed, lots of toys. I'm really liking this. Got the puzzle mats. I, the only thing is I think you're missing a Heidi house. Um, most rabbits in nature, they want something to hide in and feel safe in, especially throughout the day when they're napping and stuff. So I, that would be my recommendation to you. So that's why I would give this setup an A. All right guys, so that's it for this video. I think I could go on and on and on because there's so many emails and I really, this just makes me want to help you guys even more. Obviously for time's sake, this is where we're gonna leave off. A lot of you have similar setups to what we've seen today. So take some of the feedback here that I've cultivated with you guys and you know, apply it to your own rabbit's living conditions. I would love to do more of these, maybe you know, make a second or third episode and so forth, kind of in between the house rabbit makeovers. Let me know in the comments below if you want that. And this has been really fun and interesting for me to do. Thank you so much for your submissions. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you all soon. Bye.